we're talking about the testosterone because I know a lot of you guys don't want to get on TRT, you know, replacement therapy. So what I will do is I'll give you a list of stuff that I think is really good for, the, let's say, that 30 to 40 year old guys that don't want to get on get a little bit of boost. It's not going to blow you up, man. It's, when you get on testosterone boosters, it's not going to bring your testosterone into the thousands. It's just going to raise it, a little, you know, especially you've already got those 40 year old guys that have that six, seven, eight hundred testosterone. It's going to probably increase it, you know, probably in about two, three hundred points, you know. But then again, if you got 200, you know, two, 200 points at the at the most, it's 400. It's you're still symptomatic at 400. So it's not going to do the guy that has a 200 testosterone as well. It would do the guy with the 800 testosterone because it's just not going to do that to you. I, I have not. I know a lot of you, a few of you guys going to get on there and say that. It's, I have not met a 65 year old man, 70 year old man has got 800 testosterone. You're, you're, you're a, you're a unicorn. If that has actually happened to you, I've had guys tell me that they have a 600 700 testosterone i look them in the face and i'm like no there's no you do not you don't have the shape for it you know guys know what i mean if you're on it you know because you do it does rip you up a little bit uh, it does help you retain muscle because a lot of times with men over the age of 50 to tend to have uh, usually have muscle wasted disease it's not a disease it just happens because hormone levels drop let me get to my I got to watch my time because I know how Jeffrey is real fast. Let me get through this stuff. And I'm going to talk about peptides and there's, there's this peptides. I got a, I got a guy in San Antonio. I talk about peptides whenever we go to, whenever we move to, that's a shit show. Apparently all of my family wasn't told that we're moving. So we've been dealing with that. When we moved to Savannah, Georgia, I have a guy that's gonna actually uh, my i call it a supplier because guys the peptides are talking about is not approved by the fda so kind of got to watch what you're doing plus the guy that i got in san antonio uh, it's going to be the same guy that i'm gonna have in savannah georgia and it is it has been tested so it's it's legit stuff a lot of your peptides come from china so uh, but it is tested when it gets to the united states through us 